All right, hey everybody. Adam Jackson here, co-founder of the Brain Trust Network, along with my friend and trusty co-founder Gabe. Um, we we're record a quick video here um, talking about Web3 and transparency. Um, I, a lot of people have asked me lately, like, what what is the big deal with Web3? Like, why is it different? Why like why does anyone care? Um, and so I like to talk about web enabled marketplaces and sort of like the old way web two and the new way web three. So web two marketplaces unlocked a tremendous amount of value in the world. They brought people together to do business that would have never found each other otherwise. Um, and their model, uh, was at the time and still is, cause it was the only model around was to have a for-profit corporation basically operating the web two network. And for-profit corporations obviously have a fiduciary to their shareholders to extract as much value out of the ecosystem they manage as possible. And so um, that's what they do from you know eBay and Yelp is the early ones all the way up to the gig economy companies now. Um, their job is to get people together to transact and then take as much of that transaction as they can in the form of a fee. And so um, there's a spectrum of uh, you know extract fee extraction, you know, su some you know, add a lot of value in exchange for that fee. I would say Airbnb is a good example of that. They have insurance and background checks and security and safety and tours and experiences. And if you get a lot for that fee on the other side of the spectrum, there's, you know, companies that extract tons of value and don't really um, return much. Um, and so that's like, I would say the DoorDashes and Ubers and Yelps of the world that are just extracting more value than they provide. And so Web3 basically inverts that model. It creates web enabled marketplaces that are owned and controlled by their users. Generally, the users who make their living on it. And so the fees stay really low because if all the users own the network, why would they want to charge themselves high fees? They can charge whatever they want for their services and the market will decide, you know, who gets to keep what. Um, and so, you know, networks like Brain Trust have a flat 10% fee that just covers the cost of, you know, growing the network and upgrading and, you know, the fee goes into the community DAO. And so, we think you know this is this web three ownership economy is just a better way um it's it's more transparent you can see exactly who you're working with the market can find price discovery for services on its own without uh a corporate middleman sort of you know trying to extract as much value as possible out of the middle so um with that i want to pass it over to gabe who's going to walk through our brand new brain trust network dashboard Hey everyone, uh, so Gabe here. I uh, wanted to take a little bit of time to go through our dashboard and some of the numbers that we've seen since December. Uh, so a couple of things on info.braintrust.com, you'll be able to see all of the public network dashboard stats, including things like the average market rates. Traditionally, you know, the, the market rates of what somebody can earn out there in the market have been kind of shielded and clouded and in, in a black box. And we wanted to bring all of that out to the front so that designers and developers and writers and, and uh, knowledge workers can actually know what their true market rates are. So that's one of the one of the first things that you'll be able to see if you go onto that dashboard. Uh, the second thing is, you know, we actually publish all of the talent earnings uh, that have been on the platform. So. Uh, uh, both month to month and also lifetime. So you'll see that over $42 million is actually transferred from clients to talent to date. And if you calculate the typical take rates of other marketplaces, that's a savings of over $8 million uh, that actually goes directly to the talent. So talent have saved $8 million essentially in rake or transaction fees that they would have paid if they were in a, a web two environment. Um, the other thing is you'll actually be able to see like client and job metrics. So for instance, there's been over 2,500 total jobs that have gone onto the platform. The stats that people find really amazing is that the average job size is over $71,000. And again, keep in mind, that's an average. There's projects that are a few hundred thousand dollars and obviously there's shorter term, you know, three month part-time projects as well. So it's averaging out to be large ongoing projects with major brands from around the world. Um, in addition to that, you'll also see the actual transaction flow through the network. So you'll see things like the fee converter. Um, and there's a really interesting stat. There's over 797,831 and 78 cents to be precise of fees uh, that have been used to purchase 222,000 B Trust on the open market and send them to a community controlled treasury. That's an incredible stat for a Web3 project to have that much traction and that much value flowing through the network. In addition to that, 
Uh, you'll also see the current token cap table and the community grants program. So only 6.2 million of the allocated 135 million B-Trust tokens have been used so far. And so there's a lot more community treasury to be used for things like grants and bounties and network growth. So you can see all of that live on info.braintrust.com. Gets updated every 24 hours. A few more things. Uh, one, I want to take a second and talk a little bit about both the hiring side and the talent side of getting hired. Uh, so since Brain Trust launched on Mainnet in, in, in September, more than 2,500 jobs have been posted. More than 45,000 talent have joined the community and other supporters and contributors have taken notice. Tiger and Co2 purchased $100 million of tokens to fund network growth and network development. Those three things have all happened just since September. It's it's surprising to see how much we've accomplished in such a short period of time as as a community. It's kind of funny, Gabe, before we go, like people saw the, the new dashboard when we launched it and all the KPIs of the network all just right on one page. And people are like, wow, you're crazy to like share all this stuff publicly. And it's like, you know, that's what Web3 is all about is we all benefit from this network. We all own a piece of it. We all make our living on it somehow. And by having it completely transparent, it makes it far more attractive for more clients to come on, hire more of us talent uh, and keep growing the network. And so if you want to join us, there's a, a wide variety of ways that people can get involved, you know, uh, both in a in a, you know, a part time capacity or, you know, working or getting hired or hiring in the network. This is a true community. So there's lots and lots of ways for people to get involved. Of course, you can follow Adam and I on Twitter, Adam Jackson SF, I think it is, uh, and Gabe Luna O on Twitter. Uh, you can join our Discord, which you can access on braintrust.com. Uh, you can also apply as talent on, on braintrust.com, or you can apply to, uh, to actually hire talent as a client. Um, lastly, you know, please do check out our network dashboard to see all of these transparent stats out in the open. You can see how the network is growing and developing by the day. That's at info.braintrust.com. The link will be down in the comments below. Thanks so much for joining us for this update. And uh, please do come and be a part of this community as we help to shape the future of work and the ownership economy. Thank you. Awesome update. Uh, thanks everyone who's, uh, who's pitched in and contributed. Uh, so far and, and uh, we've got a lot more to build together. So thanks. See you next time.